If you enjoy the video, give us a like, subscribe and click the bell. Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Walton. Now, a quick question for you in this short little video today. Where is your mind? Where is the mind? Now, most of us are going to point to the brain. I think we'd all do that, or most people are certainly going to do that. We either think the mind and the brain's the same thing, or the mind's in the brain in some way, or the mind is what the brain does, that type of thing, which is half right, but also half wrong. So the mind, if we're to look at it at the leading edge of science and the leading edge of consciousness research, we see that the mind isn't what the brain does, that the mind's an energy and information field that flows through every cell of the body. That's the most accurate definition. Now, I'm going to show you a little video of this in a second. But even if we're really like mechanistic in our thinking, like a lot of scientists are, and they say that the mind is simply what the brain does, the mind is the output of the brain electrical activity. Even if that was true, that the brain is what the neurons do, well, it still wouldn't just be in the brain because our whole gut lining, there are millions, billions of neurons in our whole gut lining around the gut. There are tens of thousands of neurons in the heart. So even if we're really mechanistic in our thinking and we say, oh, it's what the neurons do, it's what the brain cells do, well, there's brain cells in the gut and there's brain cells in the heart. And so it would have to still be a connection of the mind would have to be in the gut, in the heart, and in the brain. But the most accurate definition is that the mind's an energy and information field. The mind's not really a physical thing as such. Just watch this quick little video and then we'll review at the end. So it's really important to realize that belief, thought, feeling, emotion, consciousness isn't something just stuck in the head. It's not something just flowing around the brain. These are very real electrical chemical signals that flow through every cell of the body. So belief, thought, feeling, emotion, consciousness flows through every cell of the body. This means that your mind is throughout every cell of your body. Your mind is not just in the head. Your mind is an energy and information field that flows through every cell of the body and beyond the body in your energy field, which I'm going to show you later. Okay, so then what we're looking at is thoughts, feelings, our beliefs, our mental activity, our emotional activity is not just something stuck in the brain. It goes to every cell of the body. Now, if we're to be scientific about this, you go, what the hell are you talking about, Chris? But how? How does that happen? Well, let's have a little look because we're always looking for a mechanism of action. How can that happen? How can belief, thoughts, feelings, how can they go travel around the body? Let's have a look because this explains it nicely. Our bodies are held together by a connective tissue called fascia. Now this fascia surrounds every bone, every organ, every blood vessel, every nerve fiber, every muscle, and holds it in place, just like the skin on the sausage. The fascia holds our body in place. Now when researchers looked under the microscope at this fascia, they see that these molecules that build the fascia are what's called crystalline. They're like little mini crystals all lined up parallel together like that. And researchers start to realize, huh, crystals and crystalline structures are senders and receivers of information. And researchers have started to call this fascia the living matrix. And it's like the whole body is held together by an electronic circuit board. Every thought and every feeling that we have is broadcast to the whole body. It's not just something stuck in the brain. Thoughts and feelings and beliefs are not just something stuck in the brain. They're a body-wide phenomena instantaneously through this fascia living matrix system. So it's so important then now to really think about what are we thinking, not just consciously, but subconsciously. What are my subconscious beliefs, 
thoughts and feelings being broadcast into my body. And if you notice a little bit too much stress or anxiety or negative emotions, then it's probably time to clear those up a little bit and update your subconscious so that your body gets optimistic, positive, healthy thoughts and feelings every day.